Today, guys, I'll be talking about the anatomy of the levator ani muscles. And this is where we get to see that the levator ani muscle is actually a muscle that is comp. Okay, they're actually a group of muscles. Okay, three muscles. Okay, coming together pubo rectalis, pubo coccygeus, and ilo coccygeus. Okay, and this is the MBBS Niger. Kindly do subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't. So, our focus is discuss the levator, discuss the anatomy of the levator ani muscle. Okay, just like I told you, all these muscles, PPR, that's my mnemonics for them. We have the pubo rectalis, we have the pubo coccygeus, and we have the ilio coccygeus, okay? So the levator ani muscle is the largest and most important muscle of the pelvic floor, okay? Uh, the major parts of the levator ani muscles are supplied from the perineal or under surface by the branches of inferior rectal nerve, Okay? and further forward by the deep branch of the pudendal nerve, okay? So it is supplied by two nerves, inferior rectal nerves and the pudendal nerves, and I stated the sites, okay, where this muscle is actually supplied by this, okay? So the superior or pelvic surface is supplied by the perineal branch of the fourth sacral nerve, okay? So we're having a third supply right now, okay? So first of all, we said that the under surface is by inferior rectal, Forward is by the deep branch of pudendal nerve. Superiorly is by the pelvic surface. Okay, uh, superiorly or the pelvic surface is by the perineal branch of the fourth sacral nerve. Okay, so this is it. And um, this is the levator ani, iliococcygeus, and pubo coccygeus. In this image, we don't have pubo rectalis labeled though. We know that it's part of the levator ani muscle. Okay, so guys, that's basically the anatomy of levator ani muscles okay you see that uh the levator ani muscles they are basically going to insert at the sides of the sacrum and the coccygeus okay so that's it about the anatomy of the levator ani muscles all right see you guys in the next one Bye for now.